Terve ja tervetuloa! Welcome to this brief information session on the master's program in mineral resources and sustainable mining at the University of Oulu. My name is Ihbara and I will be the host for this session today. We have two guests with me today. Could you please give us brief introductions of yourselves? Hello, my name is Jukka Pekkaranta. I'm a university lecturer in the Oulu Mining School. I'm also head of the degree program in all of our degree programs in the Oulu Mining School and my background is from geology. Nice to meet you, Jukka nice Pekka, you and too. welcome. Hi, I'm Durba Vishesh. I'm from Bangladesh and I'm just a fresh graduate from University of Oulu, majoring in mineral processing and now I'm working at the university as a research assistant. Welcome, Durba. Nice to meet you. Um, Durba, uh, what were the reasons for you to pursue your higher degree at the University of Oulu and how did you learn about this program? Okay, um, alumni from here, uh, one of my family members, he highly recommended about University of Oulu and its environment and then about the program. Um, it's in top 75 uh, mining and mineral processing department like our University of Oulu Mining School. So that was a big reason and I knew that Finland's education system is one of the global's top uh, level. So everything worked together and and I applied here and I got ad my admission. So yeah. It sounds great. And um, uh, do you remember what the main requirements were in your application? Yes, there were some uh, requirements I had to fill up like my bachelor certificates and my English speaking um, proficiency test and recommendation later and a statement of purpose. But the, the thing I think that most applied for here my admission that uh, my bachelor courses like mathematics, chemistry, geology and mineralogy. So little background uh, for mining and geology, I guess. Mm -hmm. So background does matter in the yes, process of, of the uh, admissions. Yes. I Thank guess. you. And uh, uh, Yuka Pekka, can you, can you uh, please say something about what kind of applicant that the faculty is looking for? Yeah. So first of all, I need to mention that within this mineral resources and sustainable mining, we have actually two different degree programs with its separate application procedures. So one is in geology and one is in mining engineering and mineral processing. So the background of our applicants vary quite a lot. So for example, if you want to apply for mineral processing and mining engineering, we require a relatively strong background in mathematics and chemistry. And for example, if you are applying for geology, uh, the mathematics and chemistry are, are not that important, but you have to have a background in, in geology in your bachelor thesis. Uh, that doesn't mean that only engineers can apply our mineral processing and mining engineering. In fact, we encourage people from different disciplines, for, for example, geological background, to apply mineral processing engineering if they have a relevant uh, mathematics and chemistry done in their bachelor level. So again, um, the background is one of the crucial parts in the admissions process. Yeah, I, I would say so because this is a master program, so you have to have some background in the in the field in order to survive in your studies. Thanks. And uh, could you also uh, introduce the structure of this program? Yeah, so in both programs, as usual in the Finnish universities, they will sum up to 120 credit points in your masters and actually uh, between these degree programs, we have different study options or specialization lines. So in geology, for example, you can choose between surficial geology or in economic geology. And in mineral processing and mining engineering side, you can choose between mineral processing engineering, mining engineering or applied geophysics. Again, this doesn't mean that you cannot take courses from different study options. Uh, in fact, we encourage that as well, so you will get this multidisciplinary uh, uh, studies. Uh, however, you have to choose one of those as your uh, major. So students have um, uh, freedom to choose some of the studies as they wish. 
Yeah, so I think that's one of the uh, sort of strength of Oulu Mining School, mm -hmm. that we are actually offering education from, from the whole mining value chain. Well, uh, that's very informative. Thank you, Yuka Pekka. And Durba, um, as uh, uh, Yuka Pekka just mentioned, uh, there are free choices of advanced level studies that the students can choose. Uh, could you mention the value of this part of the MRSM program? Um, yes, of course. I not uh, like for all of us. We have. 30 uh, free choice credits we can choose whichever subject you want to take and five of the the five of the credits are language of course you need to learn some finnish uh, to survive here in olu other 25 credits you can decide whichever courses you want like i took geology and mining and environment mining environment and society and some uh, mining courses so like i can get the whole picture of the mining industry how it works, how it affects the society and the people and the environment, and how the mining works, then the mineral processing parts come from like my major. So the whole thing, you, you can have some idea how the whole process works. So of course, the free choice course is important. Yeah, so this, uh, the, this part of the, uh, cor the, the course structure has helped you a lot. Yes, it did. It's good to hear. Uh, and uh, um, also a question for you, um, Durba. From your perspective as a graduate student, uh, could you talk about what in your background has helped you to be successful in this master's program? Um, as Ikopika uh, mentioned before that the mathematics, uh, you need to have some background and chemistry. And I had some geology background too, not too much, but a little bit. And so I think we had lots of calculation courses and we had to make a report on that and how the whole process works and how the chemistry in mineral processing it works, how it helps us to develop the beneficiation and grade of the minerals. So a little background in chemistry, not little, like too much maybe, background in chemistry and mathematics uh, helped me a lot to survive here. And it was tough, I would say. <laughs> Not impossible, but, but it. it was tough. Yeah. yeah, and I finished it. <laughs> That's great, and uh, it seems like you enjoyed your study here. Yes, I did. Yeah. I did. Great. And uh, Yuka Pekka, how does this program benefit students' work life after the graduation? Well, we do quite close collaboration with, with the industry already during the study times, so our students uh, usually take their master thesis subject from the industry and al already uh, during courses we integrate collaboration with industry so we can have like a visiting lecturers from there and also during the summer breaks our students are, ha are in uh, taking summer internships from the companies so I think uh, once the students will uh, graduate from the program they already have these networks in place which they have created during the study. So that, that's, that's, uh, I, I see that as a strong benefit. Yeah, I'm sure that the applicants would be happy to hear this because uh, after all, we all need to uh, find a satisfying job after graduation. And then this sounds really great. Uh, also, uh, I want to ask, uh, why does the program seek applicants from around the world? Well, there are many reasons, of course, but I think uh, diversity creates innovation in a way. So people with different cultures, when they meet up, they, uh, they can discuss their ways. They have a di diverse backgrounds, for example, and because mining is a very international business. So it's important to give, get background from different cultures and information, how things are done in other places than just in Finland. So, um, the, um, Durba, so how does the uh, inter, uh, international atmosphere add to the MR, MRSM learning environment and the student experience? First of all, like I got uh, 
my classmates are from different parts of the world. So we already are learning how to collaborate with ourselves. And as Ikopika mentioned before, that it's the worldwide industry. So you have to deal with people from different parts of the world. And this is a good start, I would say. And our teachers are from different countries. So when they are teaching us, when they are like we are uh, in the class, they are mentioning their country. Or even sometimes the students are also uh, sharing their experiences that how the mining uh, works in their own country so we are learning from that too so the whole in the uh, international vibe uh, i think it's working like pretty good to us so the students are basically learning from each other of course some of our students they have uh, working experiences too like they finished the bachelor they worked then they came here some of us so they're sharing their experiences and uh, as, as the summer internship or the thesis time experiences uh, they're sharing that too, so. And if I could add something, uh, our personnel, our staff members, professors and researchers are almost from all continents. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very, it's very international <laughs> group. It is. It sounds really great. And thank you. Thank you both for uh, coming here today. And uh, I wish you both more success in this field. For those who wish to apply for this master's program, please pay special attention to the deadline. The application period both opens and is due in January. For further information, check out our website olu.fi and follow us on Instagram uniolu. If you have any questions, feel free to communicate with us via email.